going to talk about computing a confidence interval on the population value of Pearson's correlation. The population value is called rho. Unfortunately, this calculation is a bit complicated because the sampling distribution of R is skewed rather than being normally distributed. The solution lies with Fisher's Z prime transformation described in the section on the sampling distribution of Pearson's R. Fisher's Z prime is normally distributed and has a known standard error. There are three steps in computing a confidence interval for rho. First, we convert our R value from our sample to Z prime. Second, we compute a confidence interval using values from the Z prime transformation. Finally, we convert the confidence interval back to R. Let's look at an example from one of our case studies. In the study on attitudes toward animal research, the researcher asked 34 students to rate the degree to which they thought animal research is wrong and the degree to which they thought it is necessary. As you might have guessed, the researcher found a negative relationship between these two variables. The R was negative 0.654. This shows that the more students think animal research is wrong, the less they think it is necessary. Our task in this section is to compute a 95% confidence interval on rho for our animal research data. We know that the correlation found in our sample is negative 0.654 and that our sample size is 34, so let's get to work. Remember our three steps? First, we have to convert our R value to Z prime. If you look up our R value in a transformation table or calculator, you'll find that the value of Z prime associated with an R of negative 0.654 is negative 0.78. One thing to be aware of when using these tables is that often they only have positive values of R. Fortunately, this is not a big problem since the only thing that changes is the sign. So, for example, the value of Z prime associated with an R of 0.654 is 0.78. Therefore, the Z prime associated with an R of negative 0.654 is negative 0.78. When computing a confidence interval, we need to make sure we have certain information. We need to know that our sampling distribution is normal. Since the Z prime distribution is very close to a normal distribution, we are okay here. We need to know the standard error. This can be calculated by dividing 1 by the square root of n minus 3. In this example, the standard error is 0.180. Finally, we need to know the Z for a 95% confidence interval. This can be found using the normal distribution calculator and is 1.96. We can now complete step 2 and compute the confidence interval with the z prime value. To compute the lower limit, take the z prime value minus 1.96 multiplied by 0.18 to get negative 1.13. To compute the upper limit, take the z prime value plus 1.96 multiplied by 0.18 to get negative 0.43. The final step is to convert the endpoints of the confidence interval back to R using the same table or calculator we used in step 1. The R associated with the Z prime of negative 1.13 is negative 0.81, while the R associated with the Z prime of negative 0.43 is negative 0.40. Therefore, the population correlation, or rho, is likely to be between negative 0.81 and negative 0.40. The 95% confidence interval is shown in the purple box. If we wanted to compute a 99% confidence interval on the same data, we would use the z of 2.58. To calculate the lower limit, take the z prime value minus 2.58 multiplied by 0.18 to get negative 1.24. To calculate the upper limit, take the z prime value plus 2.58 multiplied by 0.18 to get negative 0.32.
Converting our z prime values back to r, a z prime of negative 1.24 is associated with an r of negative 0.84, and a z prime of negative 0.32 is associated with an r of negative 0.31. The confidence interval is shown in the purple box. Naturally, the 99% confidence interval is wider than the 95% confidence interval. Thank you.